these trends trick us in the sense that they glorify the external but we don't know what it took for that person to earn what they got we don't know how they feel on the inside and life is not perfect what's up guys welcome back to the back 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 to my channel i'm so happy to have you guys here today we are going to talk about the toxicity in the trend of becoming her that girl all that good stuff if you like where things are going subscribe to my channel you guys have been showing me so much love and support but i feel like i'm feeling very confident i feel like we can get to 10k we grow in our little family out here we doing our thing so if you like everything that you're hearing so far hit that subscribe boo if you follow me on tiktok you know i used to make a ton of becoming her content i was all a part of the becoming her trend and i was digging it for a while but then after some time i kind of realized that it was kind of toxic and i wasn't really feeling it anymore and i kind of took my channel and turned it in a different direction just because it wasn't satisfying me and it was really affecting me and my personal life i feel like these trends of that girl becoming her they focus on idolization idolizing a certain person whoever that is to you fill in the blank and it really focuses on the external and the material maybe what kind of car they drive what kind of shoes they have bags clothes what kind of house they live in what kind of relationship they have and so on and so forth and even though i think looking up to others is okay i feel like when it comes to idolizing others and wanting to do things like become her or that girl what it does is that after a while i believe it affects our psyche and our mental health at least it did for me i believe it creates an unbalanced way of how we see ourselves looking at ourselves and our lives and what we have achieved as not enough and looking at other people's lives in the sense of man like maybe if i would have been this or would it maybe if i would have looked a certain way or maybe if i would have had this bag or this opportunity or this type of partner my life would be better my life would be happier but that's not always necessarily true these trends can be toxic in the sense that they really can affect us our mental health how we see our lives and that can overall affect our confidence and what we feel like we are truly capable of it almost becomes like a snowball effect right like we're idolizing someone else someone is idolizing us and the person that we may be idolizing might not want to be themselves or may not even like their life or their life is probably not even perfect these trends trick us in the sense that they glorify the external but we don't know what it took for that person to earn what they got we don't know how they feel on the inside and life is not perfect everything may seem cutesy on the inside but maybe on the outside is completely different before we fall into trends like becoming her or that girl we need to ask ourselves when we're idolizing other people and it could be anybody celebrities influencers or the girl next door before we idolize anybody we need to ask ourselves is their life as perfect as we're really being tricked into seeing now i also believe we need to ask ourselves what in our life is great too i believe romanticizing our whole selves and where we are at in life is huge and can have really positive impacts on our mental health on our self-esteem and overall our confidence learning to love ourselves can also save us time because at the end of the day boo all we can do is control ourselves I can idolize Sally all day long but baby I'm never gonna be Sally and Sally ain't never gonna be me by idolizing our own whole selves by romanticizing what we have we are accepting ourselves our body types our skin types our hair types are the color of our skin the jobs that we have the places that we live in everything around us that brings us whole joy can help us recognize the parts of ourselves that are beautiful but also the parts of our lives that we have created through hard work through balance whatever that is also beautiful as well you don't need to be that girl to be that girl you can be yourself you don't need to be her to be her you can be yourself and still be that one 
You know what I'm saying? These trends, becoming her, that girl, etc. Don't really focus on internal growth within ourselves. Once we focus on internal growth, I truly believe we're gonna give less of a shit of what other people have in their lives because we're gonna be so focused and grateful and all about what we have going on in our life. I think that what that creates is like when we enter rooms, we can walk in with all of our joy and all of our glory, all of our essence, and still allow allow other people in that same room to walk in with all their glory and their joy and their essence and that's how we create room for community and growth and and less competition honoring where you're at honoring the whole person that you are and where you're at in your life and still working towards the woman that you always wanted to be the woman the male um they them y'all get it all of it. I think my whole point of this is is steering away from becoming her and that girl trends or any other trends that may come after this own video and start living the lives according to ourselves, according to our own standards, own morals, own priorities, and according to a life that really works for us instead of social media trends and how TikTok, Instagram, and even YouTube tells us that we should be living our lives. Kind of backfires on my channel because I be telling you guys how to live all the time. I don't know if you guys are tired of me yet. I'm tired of me. Moving on. I think a perfect example of attracting the life that we deserve and living the life that we truly deserve according to ourselves and not according to these social media trends is like a lot of these morning routines or nighttime routines girl tell me how i used to look at these little morning routines these little 5 a.m 6 a.m morning routines and I used to think my morning routine wasn't good enough because i wasn't waking up early enough or i wasn't having an avocado toast maybe baby girl was having pancakes at the time that's my business not yours i remember looking at it at the time and even trying to wake up at 5 a.m 6 a.m and being like man like i want to live a healthier lifestyle like this is what it takes like i have to wait i don't have to do nothing I don't have to do nothing. I don't have to wake up at no 5 a.m., 6 a.m. to live a healthy lifestyle, boo. Absolutely not. I can wake up at 8 a.m. and still be healthy and happy, period. These social media trends trick us into this is the way to a healthy lifestyle, almost carving us into this box. And that's not necessarily true. I really believe the way to living a healthy and happy lifestyle is living according to ourselves and not social media. I think when we fall into these trends sometimes, I know because I've been a victim of it, is that we go into like this lack mindset, this mindset of comparison. I've done it. It's always been like, oh, like, oh, she's, she has that job. I don't have that job like oh my life sucks or they have this degree I don't have this degree it's like oh am I good enough we don't want to fall into this lack mindset because when we fall into a lack mindset into a comparison lack mindset what we're doing is attracting that same energy what we're doing is attracting more lack if you're comparing relationships guess what you're gonna attract probably shitty partnerships if you're looking at how much money someone has guess what you're gonna attract probably lack of money because you're in a lack mindset going towards the life that we deserve we have to recognize that what we have right now is absolutely abundant and absolutely stunning be delusional baby be delusional because when you're out here wondering like oh why is my life like this baby girls because you out here thinking small and you need to be thinking big bitch thinking big and thinking greater for ourselves is going to rotate that energy and only create more energy to receive that energy as well if you believe that you can get that degree you absolutely can if you believe that you can get that car you absolutely can if you believe you can overcome that breakup that trauma you absolutely can and if you think you can't to all those same things then you can't becoming the woman that we deserve to become is a mindset not a lifestyle not a trend it all starts from within you are totally deserving and capable of becoming the her and the woman that you've always wanted to be thank you guys so much thank you guys so much for tuning in and watching i'm hoping that you guys like this video i'm super sorry if it was really short like i said my camera is dying so i'm just trying to pump out this video before it actually dies but i love you guys remember to like and subscribe and i will see you guys next time